it is not done uh, k equal to u bound of 2k k step minus 1 I'll comment this up to this I can comment bulk comment I can do like this I block it and then there is a comment I can right click I can comment now that is a bulk comment comment block so I now run it with the debug viewer let me see why he has not gone to CD array is declared array upper bound is declared now for K so it is declared F11 so K is now 3 F11 DOK oh it is the end because 3 to 3 it is end so I have to use lower bound of ARR1 U bound of ARR1 to lower bound of ARR1 and then step minus 1 so run this F11 step point AK is 3 OK F11 now K is 2 F11 K is 2 now it is C then if you want to see what is U bound and L bound I'll put it in the variable watch in watch I can say L bound I can type it now in watch as I am in the debug viewer I can do all the command L bound of ARR1 I can do this you can see now L bound is 0 U bound of LR ARR1 making mistake is not an issue but you know how to solve it this is the way you can execute see watch watch means you are watching what the variable you have command means you can pass any command that you want to do so you can pass a command say for example a equal to i plus 1 i plus 1 I can pass the command here so this command means I am assigning a variable value while I am running the script so here if you see i i if I am putting i i is now empty so empty is nothing so it doesn't have a value because I have not initialized I have commented it so I can pass any value here so a equal to 2 plus 3 1 a equal to 2 plus 3 so in that way I can pass a value of here if I take now a here you can see now a is 5 here so you can pass assign a value during runtime using the command prompt so we debug viewer is a very important tool to understand how the QTP is able to manage the script so I now run the script I finished run I complete it now I don't want to wait so now done it is running now finally a that is the upper lower bound of array 1 0 so this is the way the looping is done
this is the way the incremental of the looping is also done so using u bound and l bound using step how the incremental is happening to the for loop how the decremental happens to the for loop this is now for loop next is conditional statement i want to now make some conditional statement In conditional statement, let me use some more commands called split. I, I save those files. Right. Now, in we are going into now conditional statement. I have created a new test. Conditional statement, we are also talk about how to split a variable. Yesterday we have declared a variable var1 equal to I am learning QTP through online. I now like to split this variable into each component which is delimited by a space. I want to split it. And I want to message the variable that is matching with say QTP. I want to first split. After I split, I want to display a message which is matching the variable matching to QTP. This is what my requirement is. How to do that? Now I assign the variable. Next is I split the variable where to equal to split of split command where one. This is my expression that I want to split followed by what is the delimiter that you want to use? I want to use comma uh, space as my delimiter. So space means quotes, space, quotes. I am now splitting. I split. Next. Next is I want to now condition if that split whichever the split split means that var2 is now array var2 is now array in that array zeroth element is i first element is am second element is learning third element is qtp fourth element is through fifth element is online if var2 of so i want to first put it in a loop for loop for i equal to 0 to where to u bound of where to variable by default it is step 1 next what I want to do I want to put an if then else condition if where to of where to of i equals qtp then what do you want to do i want to use message box message box where to of i otherwise else i want to say message box variable so where to of i concatenation is not matching to the qtp put it in the string so variable 2 of i is not matching to the qtp so that is what i wanted to pass the message so this is now conditional statement with starting with an i 0 to u bound of r2 this is what we have seen just now i have now split the split now creates an array so var2 is now an array element and this var2 is now being looped through and in loop we are checking whether it is matching to QTP if it is matching I am passing the message box otherwise I don't I now create a breakpoint as well I put a breakpoint as well you can see a red dot so putting a breakpoint is simple just where you, where you want to apply click onto that line number just click you create a breakpoint if I don't want a breakpoint place your mouse there 
again left click break point is removed now so click inserts the break point you can have any number of break point so if i want to go inside the break point line by line it is f11 what is there are these are all the common things one is step into step over step out what what is step over and what is step out we'll see little later now i create now i have created a break point i run the script break creating a break point the advantage is you will get the watch uh, variables by default the variables are assigned whatever the variables we create it is been assigned here you can see it in the debug viewer now i create f11 i press f11 you can see now var2 has become an array array variant and if i open that array element you can see now how the values are stored inside so value of 0 i 1 am 2 learning 3 qtp 4 through 5 online it is split now right so now if i want to go line by line i now f11 is my line by line step by step step by step is f11 var2 of so i is 0 now it is else statement you can see that it has moved to the else statement message box i is not matching to qtp fine i say again f11 then f2 that is also now with different var2 of i i say f11 you can see am is not matching to the qtp now i say okay i remove the break point i can remove the break point as well remove the break point and click f5 f5 is for continuous run i don't want to know break so now it is continuous run then debug viewer will not be of any use learning is not matching to the qtp that is a message i say okay now is again going there so now it is condition qtp is matched so he is now displaying qtp and it is in the if statement i say okay so simple only thing is the syntax here to remove to understand the syntax qtp helps you with predefined commands which you can create using the insert otherwise you just start with the first command automatically he makes the statement he completes the statement with that syntax so now it is over your conditional statement is also over